Apocalypse mode is probably at the top of the list of the most annoying game modes, which even though it's under the medium difficulty, it can range from easy to really hard, and it's because of two reasons. Number one is that there is no extra income at the end of each round, but number two, and more importantly, all rounds are somewhat random, so it's basically a gamble of what you're gonna get. For example, you could be getting camel rainbows around 30, camel ceramics around 33, and even fortified moabs around 46, and combine this with the reduced income, it can get kinda tricky. So because of this, I tried coming up with a step-by-step -step strategy that should be good to go on most maps without too much modification from you guys. So starting with Sada and the free dart monkey, a very typical start and going into the 030 druid. And each small and incremental upgrade, so just getting the druid and then getting it to 010 and eventually 030 will make a difference in this game mode. After getting the 030, I'll just get the 130 druid so it can pop lead blooms with the vines. And next up, we're going for a cluster bomb here on the right. And my upgrade order is getting the 003 first and then getting the 203 because as soon as the cluster get unlocked that's a huge power spike for the tower. Now Sala has camel detection which should be enough for the early rounds but before buying anything else I got a 300 self for camel detection and this is what you want to go for if the map has water because you're saving about $2000 if you buy a sub instead of a camel village. Next up I'm getting a 300 alchemist next to the cluster because the berserker brew is proximity based so it's always gonna target the closest tower first but I'm also not upgrading to stronger stimulant or cross padding it because I'm trying to save money. The next upgrade is the 204 recursive cluster which can completely takes care of the small balloons and for the moabs I'm going for a 310 fighter plane into a 410 operation dart storm ace and we're getting the pineapples because that upgrade gives spears to the rockets that chase the moabs. After doing this I just got a 300 village and that was it for the entire run on sunken columns. I ended the game with over $16,000 which you guys can use for another cluster to upgrade your alchemist or just get another ODS ace if you need more moab damage.